Uh, last video, I showed you how to set up your Dynamics Pro Mail Merge profile. Um, so you could basically run two businesses out of one Dynamics Pro account. That way you don't have to pay for two um, separate uh, monthly subscriptions um, to run two different businesses. So, for instance, I'm a Keller Williams uh, real estate agent and I sell Mary Kay makeup on the side. Okay, so it would be very confusing if I did an email blast out of my Dynamics Pro, which is set up with my Keller Williams website or Keller Williams email address, and all of a sudden I got a email about Mary Kay. It might confuse me because Keller Williams is a real estate company and Mary Kay is makeup. However, um, I showed in the last video how to purchase a domain uh, through G Suite, um, and we purchased jessicaharris411.com because that domain is not connected to uh, real estate or Keller Williams and it's not connected to Mary Kay makeup so this is a general um, domain and then what we did is we created a email for Jessica at jessicaharris411.com that way if you send out an email blast to um, to your Mary Kay people it's going to come from Jessica at JessicaHarris411.com, and if you send it out to you know your real estate, you know it's going to come from that general email. All right, so now that you have your mail merge profile set up, now you want to set up your master email templates for you know both businesses. Okay, so this whatever email is inside the settings mail merge profile, whatever emails in here. Whenever the Dynamics Pro sends out emails and things like that, um, it's going to come from whatever email is in here. So if you have two businesses, you don't want to have, you know, the real estate email in in here. You want to have something general. All right. So now that you have this set up, we're going to go into the email template area over here to the left hand side. So email templates right here, and you could also do it from the home page too if you wanted to. If you wanted to go to home. You go to Action Center and go straight down to the email templates right here. And you go inside your email templates. Once you're inside of the email template area, the first thing I want to show you is whenever you first uh, started using Dynamics Pro, we sent you an email and inside the email was a link that you would click on. You would upload like your real estate or your mortgage or your insurance, whatever it is. You would uh, upload your company logo your company uh, email address like jessica at kellerwilliams.com or kw.com you would upload your headshot that type of stuff okay um, now if you go in here so you have your email template tab your header tab and then the footer tab if you go to the footer and there's nothing here or it's not specific to you then email support at mydynamicspro.com and just let us know to send you the link so you can up um, so you could send us your um, your business information. Okay, and then uh, once we get that, we will set up your um, email footer area right here. And so this one has the real estate one in here, and I want you to notice it says. Whenever we see percentage percentage footer percentage percentage in your email templates, we'll replace it with the content below. Okay, so it's going to anytime it sees this percentage percentage footer percentage percentage in your email templates, we'll replace it with the content below. So this is the Keller Williams real estate. Okay, then the header is at the top. So you know, think of your head being at the top of the email template. So it says whenever you see percentage percentage header percentage percentage in your email templates will replace it with the content below so it's going to replace it with that so let's go ahead and just see what this looks like real quick so if I go to email templates right here this tab I'm gonna look for an email that has a percentage percentage header percentage percentage in it and basically it's gonna replace it with this content this banner right here so if I go to email templates and I click on this first one master email templates and I click on it you'll see there's the header so if it sees this it's automatically gonna put the Keller Williams banner in there and then the footer, which is at the bottom, is going to put your email signature in there. So let me get out of there. So there's your footer. It's going to replace it with this. Okay. So basically, since we um, have the real estate or the mortgage stuff, all these are going to be specific to uh, the real estate business. Okay. So you don't have to worry about these ones. However, 
when uh, you you would want to create your master email template for your other business and in this example Mary Kay so um, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and use this top one it doesn't matter which one that you use now if you don't see this all you have to do is go over here to the upper right hand corner and there's a samples over here you click on the drop down and you can just click on master email template click it and they'll bring it over to the left hand side if you delete all of them by accident and don't worry all you have to do is go up to samples click master email template samples master email template and you keep on bringing them over so um, so let's go ahead and use this top one because again we don't really have to touch these because you already have your real estate header and footer in here so all these are going to be related to that however let's go ahead and create the Mary Kay or your other business uh, master email template so we're just going to click on this thing and what we're going to do is we're going to call this Mary Kay master email template and I'm just going to copy the same thing and put it in the subject line. Okay. Because this is just going to be your master email template. So, next, what we want to do is we want to get rid of this header percentage percentage. Because remember, that's going to replace it with the real estate stuff. And the footer. We want to get rid of the footer thing because that's going to replace it with the real estate stuff. So, we're going to get rid of this. So, the way that you do that is up here at the top, you're going to click on Edit with Content Designer, this button right here. Once you go inside the email template designer, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to remove the header. Okay, so in order to remove this, we're going to click on it. Now you'll notice it brought up this WYSIWYG editor. We got to get this out of the way because we want to delete this text module right here and we want to replace it with an image module because we want to put our Mary Kay header at the top. Okay, so now to get rid of this WYSIWYG thing, I got to click on this round circle with these four arrows right here. Once I click it, this will disappear. So click. And then now you'll see this trash can where I could delete um, this text module. So I'm going to hit delete. So now we took the text module out of here. So now it says no content here. Drag new from the content panel. Over here on the right hand side you'll see the content panels. Okay. So here's the content panel right here. I'm going to click it. And then now I want to insert my image because I want to put my Mary Kay banner or whatever other company that you have. So I'm going to, so I'm going to click and drag. I'm going to hold in my click and then drag it. Now you'll notice you can't just let go here. It don't know where to, it doesn't know where to go. So you keep on dragging it until this little blue line. Now watch this blue line that shows up. Boom, there it is. Drag it here. Now you can put it up top or at the bottom right here, it doesn't matter. Just as long as it's above this content right here. Okay? So now it says, "All right, well, now we're ready to insert an image and let's go ahead and browse your computer." So I click on browse button. Okay. Now it's going to bring up your file manager. So your file manager. And now we want to upload. Or you could also search for free photos. So um, let's just go in here and see if, with the free photos if they have a Mary Kay banner. Which I don't know if they will, but let's just look. So Mary Kay. And I'm going to hit search. And they don't. Okay. All right. So course Mary Kay I'm sure they provide you with uh, banners if you're trying to find like a Mary Kay uh, uh, banner logo you can just go to Google and then uh, find a banner and then save it to your desktop however I don't really uh, recommend that you do that um, I recommend you reaching out to your business and have them send you over um, an image that you can use that way there's no copyrights or anything like that alright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on upload and I have this Mary Kay banner saved to my desktop. Now upload is in progress, so you'll see this line and it says 99% done. It's going to process it, now it's going to put it in my file manager, and there it is right there. And I want to click this blue insert, so I'm going to click it, and then boom, there it is right there. Now remember, I still want to get rid of this footer right here um, and replace it with my Mary Kay signature. So. Um, so anyway, what I did was I now I'm not deleting this because I need I need a text module right here to be able to put in my um, my information for Mary Kay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to you can either leave it over I'll, I'll leave it over to the left. You can do it any way you want. You can do you can do different fonts. I can do 14. I'm just going to leave it to 12, and then you start putting in your name. So Jessica Harris, sales rep. 
Mary Kay, and then maybe my cell, and maybe my email will be Jessica at uh, Mary Kay.com, and then um, maybe they give me Jessica Harris dot Mary Kay.com. I'm not sure how that all that works, but um, and I'll go ahead and hit save. All right, so now all right, so now you see I have my master K and my Mary K master email template. So I have my header and I got my footer right here and I'm going to go ahead and hit done editing. Okay. And then I'm going to hit save. And there we go. My master, my Mary Kay master email template. And then I may want to create a uh, folder right here and call it Mary Kay. Just so, because um, all these are my real estate ones. So I might just go and click on this folder right here. And I'm going to create a new folder right here with this button. I'm going to call it Mary Kay. Hit save and move. All right, so now if I'm like, all right, I just want to see all my Mary Kay emails, I can just click on this drop down of this folder right here beside this Rolodex. There's a little folder with this drop down. I can just click on Mary Kay. And here is all my Mary Kay uh, email templates. Now, let's just say that I want to start building my email templates inside my Dynamics Pro. All I could do, I don't have to use this one. I could just go over here and I could click on this, copy this email template, click on it. It says, are you sure you want to make a copy of this email uh, template? I hit OK. And then I'll go over here. So now it created a copy right here. So now I'm going to click on it. And this will be my, I'm going to call it my Mary Kay intro. And then now the, the name is just the name of the email template. The subject line is what the recipient of this email will actually see. So if I'm sending it to Brian Bailey, then this is going to be the subject line. So remember, it's going to come from the email uh, Jessica at Jessica Harris 411.com and then it will have this as your banner so anyway let's go ahead and take a look and we're going to we are going to let me think here we'll call it uh, Jessica Harris your Mary Kay I don't know, specialist, specialist, there we go, and then um, I'm going to click on edit with content designer, all right, now that I'm in the content designer, basically all you do is you click anywhere that you want to edit, so if I want to click on my signature, my header, or I want to click on this, I can put, uh, and then the first name will automatically uh, populate whenever we send an email out from you know the system so we'll go uh, something like uh, Nathan uh, very nice to meet you at the marketing event we didn't get to talk much about what products I have so Please let me know if you would like to sit down for coffee. Whatever you want to put in there. Hit save. And then there you go. And that could be your intro. Now if I go hit done editing, I go in here and I could hit save. And then there's my Mary Kate intro uh, Mary Kate intro. Okay, maybe I have a YouTube video that I put on my YouTube channel that I did a video introduction. I said, hey, this is Nathan. Uh, this is Nathan Montgomery with Mary Kay. I've been a Mary Kay specialist for, you know, 10 plus years. Um, it was nice meeting you at the marketing event. We didn't get to talk much because, you know, we we're just building relationships. But if you want to talk about, um, you know, the different products I have, I'd love to sit down and have some coffee with you. So if you did this video, um, and then you upload it into your YouTube account, maybe you want to send out a video email instead of a boring text email. So what you can do is now, what you can do is you can just take this intro, you go over here, make a copy right here with this little copy button, hit OK, 
And now you go into this copy, and then you could put um, video video intro. Okay, and then click with edit with content designer. And so maybe you want to add a, instead of having this right here, you're going to replace it with a video. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on it. And again, if the WYSIWYG editor pops up in your way, you just click on this round thing and then I'm going to delete. So now, there, now it's missing. So now I want to go to the content and I want to add my video. So down here is a video module. So I'm just going to click and drag it. And right here, I would pop, I would just click this button. And then right here, I would put in my YouTube uh, URL right here. All right. So we'll go. So for instance, let me just go to the channel. And let's just say, I want to pop. Let's just say that this is my uh, video intro that I did. I would just, you know, I upload it into my YouTube system. And I would just copy this URL up here at the um, top at the address bar. And then I would just add it over here, pop it in. And boom, there's my video, my, my Mary Kay intro. Save changes. Done editing. Save. And there we go. We got Mary Kay intro and Mary Kay video intro. All right, so there's all of my email templates for both businesses. And here is my Mary Kay master email template. And again, I wanna see all my Mary Kay ones, so I'm gonna click on this drop down, and then I'll do my Mary Kay, and there's all my Mary Kay ones, all right? So now if I wanted to send out to Kathy Allen, right here. Now the first thing I would want to do uh, before I send it out, I probably want to flag her, just let her know that, or just to, in my database, just to make sure I knew that she was a Mary Kay client, not a Keller Williams. I'd click on flags and then I would go to add new flag. So right here is a little hyperlink where you can add flags right here. And then this shows all your active flags. And I can just click on this add new flag button right here. Click it. And then I'll just call it Mary Kay. And we're going to put a, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, put a diamond in there. And I'll go ahead and use this pink right here and hit save. And now here's my Mary Kay. All right. So um, now if I want to send Kathy Allen my intro, because I just saw her at a marketing event or Chamber of Commerce or something, I go in, you know, I, I, I got her business card at the Chamber of Commerce thing, and I input her information in there, and I flagged her as a Mary Kay prospect. Um, you know, maybe I go in here to this edit content or edit contact button up in the top right-hand corner, and my source would be... Um, maybe it's, maybe it's a friend referral and instead of past client, um, a lead is the, a buyer lead or something. Um, and put in all their information here, phone numbers, all that type of stuff. Probably want to go in here to, um, like the notes and add notes, what you guys talked about. And then if I want to send Kathy Allen an email from Mary Kay, I'm just going to click send email. And then right here it'll say, would you like to compose a brand new email or do you want to send, send your email template? And I want to send I want to send her my video intro. So I'm going to click on this drop down. And right here I could either search it by just going through all of them or I could just hit, hit this drop down and find my Mary Kay folder. And then pop in my Mary Kay intro video and boom, there it is right there. And hit the send email and it's going to send it right out. And you can add an attachment right here if you like to. So, um, so that's basically how you would uh, set that up to send out um, an email if you want to use two different businesses with one Dynamics Pro account. So um, now if you want two separate ones, you just have to purchase another monthly subscription for a separate business. But I find this much easier and um, it's going to go out to, um, so this will go out to Mary Kay client. But I could also 
if I wanted to, I could also send out an email to Jose Anderson, and let's just say he is a Keller Williams person, so I'm just going to add a flag, and I'll put real estate, and I'll put my house here. There's the house, and green for money, because we're going to sell this guy a house, and now if I want to send, hit send email, and Remember, everything that's out of that, so this is Mary Kay, this is my Mary Kay, but everything else is going to be my real estate. So it'll be like, um, for sale by owner, and here is my for sale by owner report, which is attached, and I hit send email. So remember, percentage, percentage, header, percentage, percentage is going to put your Keller Williams banner in there, and the percentage, percentage, footer, percentage, percentage is going to put in your Keller Williams um, email signature. But remember, no matter what, what you do, what email template you send out, it's always going to come from this one email address because there's only one mail merge profile, so it's only going to come from one email. So that was the whole purpose of setting up, you know, getting your own domain that's not attached to Keller Williams or attached to your other business and then setting it up in your mail merge profile and then you create the email signatures inside the email template area and then that's how you kind of get around from having to pay for an extra, um, an extra, monthly subscription for a separate Dynamics Pro. But if you want to do that, we could also um, connect that for you too. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, email support at mydynamicspro.com. Thanks for watching.